Good morning, folks. Papa Joe here. It's Tuesday morning, November the 7th, 6.40 in the morning. That dead gum time change. Uh, they have been afraid I could be over there loading my wagon. But instead, I'm sitting here five miles away. Been looking at some different stuff between last night. I hear my truck making a noise, and I ain't even island. That ain't good. Between last night and this morning, it gave me material to make my video for my Wednesday night studying the word. And I did this last week where I posted early. And my niece, she's like, uh, I'm going to yell you a day early. Folks, I realize that. I make these videos when I'm inspired, have something to say, have the time to make them. If I only wait until Wednesday night to make them, you wouldn't be getting them. So, uh, guess what, this morning, I have time, I have something to talk about, so I'm going to make it well over 24 hours in advance. So, uh, so yeah, this is for Wednesday night, and I'm making it Tuesday morning. Now, last night, I was surfing around the internet, reading some of my friends' comments and whatnot. And needless to say, being that I live in Texas, I have several Texas friends. We just had that Texas shooting on Sunday. That came up in a lot of conversations. So uh, I got reading through some of them. And on this particular one, now I don't know the guy's age or anything else. And he was not totally rude, but he got to questioning and made the comment about, oh, please stop it with all the praying stuff. You know, blah de blah de blah, blah And it makes as much sense to me as an atheist as praying to the tooth fairy to protect me. So he got a... Uh, some feedback and then he posted a video so I went and watched his video before I made my comment and I tried to be nice to him well I was nice to him uh, now the video that they showed it started out with a bunch of matter rocks whatever just floating around in space and starts banging into each other and and before you know it we're crawling out of a mud hole and that's how he sees it happening so uh, I went ahead and replied to the young man I said well first off it don't tell us where them rocks came from where'd they come from Now you want us to believe that these rocks are just floating around banging into each other and all of a sudden we have the perfect environment for a single cell to start. And of course they show it starting in water. And uh, now this thing crawls out of the hole and it just starts multiplying and from this one single thing, everything in the world started. And we have evolution and it's fullest. Then all of a sudden it just stopped. Is this perfect? I mean, I joke around about it, yeah, you know, but really, is the human at this present time, are we perfect? I think not. 
is all the creations in earth, the living plants, animals, and everything. Why did they all stop evolving? I haven't looked to see if I got a response from him. It doesn't matter. But uh, now this morning I was up. I've been up a little bit. I was looking at different stuff. And I come across the post where uh, Paul Ryan asked for vote uh, prayers for Texas. And all these supposed to be stars are all making some pretty rough comments. Including Stephen, Stephen King. That surprised me and disappoints me. Well, it doesn't really surprise me, but it definitely disappoints me. And all of them are saying they were in church praying and it didn't protect them. Knock it off with the prey and then start legislating. Really? You know, what folks don't understand is that God never promised us a world free from anything bad happening. Now, if we'd stayed in the Garden of Eden, then maybe. We're not in the Garden of Eden anymore, Dorothy. So, everything has its opposites in our universe. Up has down, good has bad, blah, blah, blah. And you have the evil one. And he's definitely trying to throw a monkey wrench into everything. Hold on a minute. My morning sinuses are draining. I'll be back with you. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. You know, it's hard for some to accept. And myself at times it was. That if we have such a loving God... Why do we have cancer? Why do children die at such early ages? Why are there such diseases and MS and, and all this other stuff? How can a loving God allow that to happen? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Everything has its opposites. If you don't know what the bad side is, MS, cancer, Lou Gehrig's disease. If you don't know this exists and how it operates, how can you appreciate the health that you have if you're in good health? I know, some won't like that analogy, but it's a fact. Because what that leads us to, I've said it before and I'll say it again. God has taken us to a perfect home where there's no more aging no more aching no more painting no more misery but in able to be able to go there you have to know the bad side you have to learn to hate evil to hate bad if he isn't showing us what is bad then how can we know what it is and when I say he is showing us, if he don't show us, I ain't saying that he's doing the bad in the world. We know he ain't. We know who he is. Uh, how can he show us how mighty he is? As Christians, some of us have seen miracles. Some of us know that he is still in the miracle business. No, he don't put it on CNN or Fox or, or the Internet. He don't do it. The little Mimi, do this and God will bless you. And da -da. God's already blessed me. I don't need to repost your Mimi and, and type amen and share with 2,000 friends. And 
that ain't how it works. But for everybody, or for several of these stars, to blatantly mock church and prayer and God. I really don't want to be in their shoes one day. How many times have you heard it say that one day we will all be held accountable for every deed done and every syllable spoken? I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Do I have all the answers? No. Does any human being on earth have all the answers? No. We can't explain where God came from just like the other side can't explain where all their rocks came from. As I told him, my beliefs make more sense than his. To him, his, his beliefs makes more sense than mine. One day we'll find out who's right and wrong. However, if he's wrong, he might have a problem. If I'm wrong, I'll just be dead. If there's nobody to be holding me accountable, there's no heaven, there's no God, I've just been living this foolish life of being a decent person, because that's what I get the most out of it. It's helped my anger, and it's helped me, and whatnot. It's made me a better person, which I told him in that video. He was saying what a joke it was to think that this invisible God helps people to be better. And I told him, I said, dude, before God came into my life, you would not have liked the, my response. I said, if we'd met in person, it could have been a painful experience for you. But since God's came into my life, he has removed a lot of hate and anger out of me. Not 100%, but 90. Uh, so if I'm wrong and there's not a God, what have I lost? I'm a better person for how I'm living my life on earth. But if you don't believe in God and Jesus Christ, and you find out that you're wrong, what happens? I don't think the good Lord's going to say, well, Dad Gummit, I understand you was wrong and, and all them mean things that you was saying and making mockery of my church and my people. Ah, that, that don't matter. I'm a loving God. I'm going to let you in anyway. God can't lie. And what's he tell us in his, Bible, in his word in the Bible? There are certain guidelines. You know, evil's running rampant in the world. It always has. It always has. This is not anything new. Uh, as far back as you want to go in history, all the way back to Jesus days, there's always been this same chaotic, crazy nonsense going on. It's because man is involved. When you get man involved, stuff gets evil, gets chaotic, and it makes no sense. So, were we, I, don't expect to live in a perfect world, just because I'm a Christian. I don't expect to live in a perfect world. I don't expect God to give me everything. Uh, I don't expect to be saved from everything evil on the earth. When you are a Christian, you are forgiven. That's what it's all about, is you are forgiving so that you can get into heaven. It doesn't say I'm going to forgive you and let you live the perfect life on earth and nothing will ever touch you. You'll never get sick again. You'll never want again. Nobody will kill you. That ain't how it works. 
and who really believes and expects that to happen? I know a lot of Christians that are suffering from some real mean illnesses, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, you know. Uh, my mentor, bless his soul, he's passed on now, but he had so dead gum many illnesses haunting him now. He was 80 years old. You know, a lot of his stuff came from the war, but still, he he uh, he never lost his faith and and said, "Lord, I'm such a devoted Christian. Why am I suffering?" Well, did the disciples suffer? Did Jesus suffer? Are we really in this age of gimme, gimme, gimme? instant gratitude do you think that if you become a Christian then you should automatically get a free pass from any and all evils and wrongdoings in the world it don't work that way it don't work that way no I don't know if this made sense to anybody or not it does in my warped head because my warped head ain't perfect I kind of think outside the box and think differently than a lot of other folks. However, I think thus far I am. Y'all remember, God loves you and so do I. I hope this helps somebody somewhere, somehow. If it's of the Lord's will, it will help someone. Y'all have a blessed day. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Bye.